Hello guys, welcome to lesson 6 of Crazy Tutorials. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm gonna uh, show you how to work with panels and also a dock and anchor properties. So let's get started with clicking on a new project and I'm gonna name it Lesson 6. Okay. So here's our form. Um, for this, uh, I need a button and also a picture box and a panel. Okay. Um, uh, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna make a emote box or something like you know in messengers like Yahoo, uh, MSN, Skype, and this uh, panel will be the emote panel. So <clears throat> let's make it. Uh, so here's our picture box and just click on this little icon and click choose image and then import uh, Here's our happy face. So just import it There and import it here and I'll make the size mode to zoom Okay um, So I'm gonna drag it over here And Copy and paste it here, and like copy and paste it here. Perfect. Make it a little bit smaller like this. Yes. And also one, two, three, four, and copy and paste. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. All right. This is more like done. Um, oh, one more. Okay. So yeah, this is um, kind of like emote boxes. I'm not gonna uh, change those uh, emote pictures though because this is uh, just for this tutorial. So. Yeah. So anyway, guys, um, uh, I'm gonna show you how to work with this panel. So, <clears throat> like, um, um, if I want to move this all those pictures at once, I have to select all those pictures and one by one, and it will take time. And you know, um, so picture box is uh on the panel, so. If you move the panel, as you can see, a whole picture box is moving. I mean, all those picture boxes are moving, and yeah, it's it's just so cool. This panel is uh, very useful, and also like uh, okay, uh, let me just uh, change the text properties of this button very quickly. Um, I'm gonna make it limits. So yeah. So, for this example, I'm gonna just uh, make it. Hold on a sec. Uh, I'm gonna uh, select. I'm gonna select the panel, and I will change the background properties, uh, background color properties, to something else like uh, maybe uh, gray or something like, that, like this. Um, okay. So, uh, um, double click on the emote button and. I'm gonna type like oh, whenever the button one is clicked, which is this one emotes. Whenever the, this button will be clicked, um, I want this whole panel to uh, be invisible. So like, um, uh, if there is the panel, so I have to do it one by one. Like picture box one dot visible. A false picture box, two visible false, three visible false. This is not cool, guys. I have to type a lot in that way. So, um, this is very uh, easy way to do that. Is um, as you can see, our panel. Let me just select the panel. Uh, uh, here, uh, its name is panel one. So we can just do panel one dot visible equals false and that's it um uh, let's 
debug it. And if I just click on this emotes, boom, it's gone. So it's so easy. Yeah, from the start, I want the panel to be visible, and whenever I click on the um, this button, it'll be visible. Just simple. Just I'm gonna from the start, I'm gonna make it invisible false and debug it and there you go if i click on the emote there is all this um, emotes we can see we can see so yeah it's it's very easy um, working with panels is very easy and uh, if you if you have any questions about panels please let me know because this is very important. I'm going to use this panel a lot of time in future. So anyway, so this was about the panel. I'll leave it for the future. Okay, so now let me just delete this because now uh, I'm going to show you a cool thing about anchoring. Uh, let me just make it a little bit bigger like this. Um, okay. Let me drag a text box here and also a button uh, from, yeah, from here. Let me just this. Okay. And I'm going to just copy and paste the text box here. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to make it multi line. So how to do it? It's so easy. Just click on this little button here and click on the model line. Or uh, you, what you can do is go over here uh, to multi-line properties and just make it true. Okay, now <clears throat> we can actually move this thing over here like this. So yeah. So I just made it, uh, I just made it kind of like uh, chat box or something you know where where you can type and here all the messages will be displayed so yeah so this is just for this tutorial so i'm not gonna make the chat box though so yeah anyway um uh, let me just quickly name this button i mean change the text uh, properties of this button to send so yeah okay so <clears throat> If I debug this thing, oops, there, uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I forget to do that. Uh, we don't have the panel anymore, so I should do, I should delete this. So let's play, okay, let's debug it. Um, this is okay, but whenever I stretch this um, form like this, as you can see, the button and the text box and everything is hiding like this. I don't want it like this. Uh, you know, like if uh, there won't be any text box, you know, if I if I stretch it and they, if I type something, there there won't be any uh, button. So I have to again move it like this. This is not cool, you know. So what I'm gonna do is simple. Just uh, click on the button. And go over to anchor properties. Okay, and uh, from the from the default, it will be top left, top left. And I don't want it top left. I want it from the right and bottom. Okay, and also this uh, down text. Th also this text box. I'm gonna make it the same, uh, but in this time, I'm gonna make it right side and also the left side. And also, I want the button. So, right side, left side button. And for this text box, because this is this will be affected by all those areas, so I'm gonna make it all those all the sides. Okay. So let's just play the debug. And now, if I try to move, as you can see, the whole text box is moving. Yes, just we what we wanted. Isn't that cool? Uh, it's it's very useful thing. Uh, I hope you understood how how, how to work with it. Just uh, 
select the object go to anchor properties and change it however you like it's so easy okay so uh, this was about anchoring and if you have any questions please let me know so I'm just gonna delete this for now because I have to show you another thing which is uh, which is talking uh, for this I'm gonna uh, use uh, a text box also uh, here's the text box okay I'm gonna make it multi-line also okay uh, like this okay okay this is the text box um, if I just debug it this is okay you know uh, yeah yeah well what if we just stretch it and as you can see your words are hiding this is not good your words are hiding so docking is kind of like anchoring but a little bit different <coughs> so uh, let's see just select the text box and go over to dock dock properties so just if I just click on this and as you can see uh, you can choose uh, however you like so I'm gonna for now I'm gonna choose this middle one so it'll cover up the whole form so as you can see now that it covered up automatically the whole form so let's just debug it and let's see what will happen okay now if I type like this whatever um, blah 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 okay, okay. Uh, and what if we just straight try to straight and watch see isn't that cool just this is super cool and you can do it however you like if you have any questions about talking, please let me know. Uh, okay, guys, so uh, this was the tutorial. Uh, so I hope you like this tutorial. And if you have any questions, please let me, let me know and subscribe. I'm going to make lots of videos. I told you before, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you.